Welcome to Quickies. This is Ted. Today is a first. Not only am I in Virginia instead of Georgia, this is a uh, lovely uh, convention called uh, Scares That Care. They do uh, charities for uh, kids and stuff. And uh, today is the first as in I have not one, but two people uh, interviewing at the same time. And who better than the heroic Belmont sisters from the legendary Night of the Comet movie? Miss Catherine Mary Stewart and Miss Kelly Maroney. So ladies, what got you into acting in the first place? I basically lucked into it. I was a dancer and I auditioned as a dancer for a rock musical. And I was plucked out of the dance audition and auditioned for the lead role in this movie called The Apple. And voila, I was an actress. I, oh, um, I watched movies with my mom and she loved them so much and I saw the way they transformed her and, and um, it was so beautiful watching these people in this different world and I wanted to be part of it. And they felt things. In Minnesota, you, you, you felt things but you didn't let on, you, you know. It wasn't, but in the movies you let it all hang out and I was like, I gotta do that. And then I went to the National Shakespeare Company Conservatory, uh, but I got a soap opera. So that's kind of the opposite of what. <laughs> but um, that's what started me out because then I became a professional. People took me seriously and all that. So, what's been your favorite role so far and why? Oh, absolutely. Uh, Regina in Night of the Commons. <laughs> no, you know what? I love all the roles that I play because everyone has been so different. And I've been able to just super enjoy pieces of each and every one of them. But I have to say, Night of the Comet was pretty good. Um, I, so of course, love Samantha. It's one of my, you know, the, the roles that... Um, really, really spoke to me, um, but I also love Mary Meredith and Face Down. Um, it was a movie for Showtime, but um, not anywhere near as popular. And I love all the parts that I play because they're all a little bit like children. So it's hard to pick a, f a favorite one. Um, they're all my favorite for different reasons. So there's a little something special in each one. So who do you say are acting in film or heroes? Our heroes? Oh, lordy. Um, Kelly Maroney. <laughs> Zach Gallagher. <laughs> oh, I got to work with Robert Preston in The Last Starfighter. That was super awesome. Um, I mean, there's so many fantastic actors and directors out there. Werner Herzog was, is a fantastic director. I love his work. Um, lots of us. <laughs> There's so many heroes in this, as, as I don't have to tell anybody that's into movies. There's so many people that have that, that, that are heroes. Um, I always my catchphrase is like Betty Davis because she encompasses everything. She was she had played all these different character roles and and she was tough and she you know she she molded her own career at a time when it wasn't it wasn't that um, that common for people to do that. And of course the directors you know Scorsese, Frank um, Capra. Um, um, there are so many, there's too many to mention, um, but there's so many people to look up to in this particular art form. Right, uh, what would you be doing right now if you weren't acting? Ooh, um, I might be teaching, I think I'd like teaching. Uh, I don't know, yeah, or dancing. I probably may be teaching dancing, that's what I'd be doing. <laughs> I like to think I would be a vet, but I, I actually, as the animal lover, I'm not sure I would be able to, to, to stand that, but um, that, that would be a good use of my life, I think, is to be a vet, a veteran, I mean a veteran, <laughs> a veterinarian, um, um, something with rescuing animals, I think. So what do you love most about your career? Everything. I love that I can play all sorts of different characters and all sorts of different situations and just kind of live vicariously through the characters. It's so much fun. I'm so grateful to have been able to be a part of this industry. I love it. Everything. I love my career. It's, I mean, I'm so fortunate I get to do, I spend every day doing what I what I want to do or something towards what I want to be doing. And, and to be able to say that, um, you know, I can foresee a time when that wouldn't have happened for me, but I, I insisted that it happened. And it hasn't always been that easy, but I'm really glad that I stuck to it because um, I get to do 
the things that I dreamed of doing. So um, and I encourage everybody else to do the same. What do you know about the film work uh, industry now that you wish you had known when you were younger? What would your today self tell your uh, younger self? Well, I would have taken it all a lot more seriously. I was just like, woohoo, this is fun. And now it's so much more important um, to really know the business of the business, I think. And uh, is the next part of the question about what would you, what advice would you give people? Yes, any words of wisdom to uh, up and coming actors? Yeah, well, no, the business of the business. And, you know, really take advantage of all the resources that you can find online. There's casting directors online. There's a thing called SAG After Foundation online that provides all sorts of programs and interesting things. Um, yeah, and just get work, just be involved with the business as much as you possibly can be in any sort of form at all, you know, volunteer on a film set, be an extra, do whatever, just to get, just to be a part of it. It's really important to stay involved. So what do you know uh, now that you wish you had known back then? What would your uh, today self tell your younger self? Nobody else knows any better than you do out there. You have to follow your heart. Um, do your best, be, be the best person you can possibly be, and follow your instincts. And it's not going to come from something out there. It's going to come from your own self-respect and self-esteem. It's not going to be because somebody lets you have There's no self-respect. It's because you take that. And do what you want to do because life is so short. My mother said, she said, it's so short. It goes by in an instant. You won't believe how, how fast your life goes by. So do what you want to do. So uh, what are you doing uh, work-wise as of right now? Anything left to plug any movies or websites or such? Well, everybody like my page, Catherine Mary Stewart, and you'll hear of all the stuff that I've been doing. Um, I've been working on some scripts. I'm working on a lot, a lot of stuff behind the camera now as opposed to in front of the camera, although I'm still working as an actress. Uh, I have a movie out right now called Imitation Girl. Uh, look for that. It's been on the circuit, the, the film circuit. Um, uh, yeah, just keep it. I'm plugging away. And, Using my own advice and just stay as involved as possible in any way I can. So, uh, what are you doing film work wise as of right now? I have a movie coming out called Exorcism at 60,000 Feet, which is a horror comedy. I guess what it's about. Um, and it's an airplane meets um, Snakes on a Plane meets The Exorcist. And it's got Lance Henriksen, Bill Mosley, uh, Adrian Barbeau, Eileen, me, a bunch of Cameron Connor, a bunch of people. And that's going to be fun when that comes out. And then I also did something for uh, Tyler McIntyre um, called Blowing Up Everywhere. It's a short film that will be playing the festival circuit. And uh, I have said something coming up with Zach too next year, Zach Gallagher. So um, I'm very excited to have all these things coming up. All right. I said, anything left to plug? Any more movies or websites or projects? Um, you know, if you want to follow me on Twitter, KellyMaroney.com, ActressKellyMaroney.com on Facebook, Instagram. But my name again, because I figured, how else are you going to find me? Um, but here it says, everyone spells it wrong. But K E L L I M A R O N E Y. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovely Kelly Maroney and Miss Catherine Mary Stewart. That would be me. This is Ted. This is Quickies. Have a good day. Bye-bye.